guys, so today I'm back with a What's On My iPhone 6 updated. This was suggested by its Jess Keller XO, so thank you very much for that. And it was actually asked about like a month ago, so I'm really sorry this video is late, but I've had lots of planned videos. Anyway, I thought I'd do an updated iPhone video. Um, so I've still got the same one. It is the iPhone 6 in silver. And um, I have actually recently changed back to this case. I used to have Gabby's case but this one just offers a little bit more protection although it's very dirty so I wanted to buy a new one but um, yeah I've still got the same phone I can't believe I've actually already had it for over a year that's actually crazy anyway my home screen is a picture of me and Zoe it's actually her Madden Two Swords figure so it's not real as much as I wish it was real it's not but I've had this as my lock screen for ages and I just love it so my background on my phone is this image of me, Cedar and Katie in the photo booth in Brighton from my birthday and I just love this photo so much. It's so nice and it's black and white. I thought I would choose it as my wallpaper. So I still have two slides and the first slide, if you've watched my first video, it's pretty much exactly the same. I don't think I've changed anything. I've still got messages, calendar, photos, camera, weather, clock, maps, video, notes, reminders, calculator, wallet, iBooks, iTunes store, app store, news, game center, health, and settings. So that's like pretty much exactly the same. Like I haven't changed any of that. And all of these apps are already installed on your phone so I didn't download any of them. And then I've still got phone, mail, and safari, and music at the bottom. So I'm gonna start with social. I have Snapchat but I don't really like to make that kind of public but um, I just love using the filters on Snapchat, it's so much fun. I also have Twitter, which is at Kian underscore Cleave. Um, I go through phases, whether I use this or not, um, but yeah, you can follow me if you want to, there it is. I also have YouTube, which I use all the time, and I just love watching YouTube on my phone. I think it's so much fun. I've also got Instagram, which I use all the time. Instagram is one of my favorite social networking ever, and um, it's Kian underscore Cleave as well. And this is my feed, I'm loving it, digging it. I love a good feed. I've also got Pinterest, which is actually at Kiki Cleave, and this is my page. I love getting ideas for rooms, like I'm going to uni soon, and I love getting ideas of how I can decorate my room. I'm just obsessed. Also have Messenger, just because it's just easier to keep up with people on Facebook through messaging as well, really. And then I've also got Studio, which is for YouTube, and it just helps me keep up to date with all my analytics, and you guys leave me a comment, then it's easy for me to reply. And I just find this really helpful for looking at my YouTube channel. I've then also got Visco Cam, which I use all the time to edit my photos. Previously in my old What's My iPhone video, I used to use the filter P5, which kind of gave this purple tinge to the photo. But now I'm obsessed with HB2, which I use all the time on my Instagram feed. There's a little bit more contrast going on and I kind of like that, I dig that. So that's how I get to my Instagram photos. Obviously, I've still got La La Lab. I use that all the time. It's just so, so good for getting really good presents and stuff like that. So that's a really good app. Also, I've got Layout, which I'm sure you would have known. It's part of the Instagram apps so and I just find it really easy to make collages on it. Also use Over, which I really enjoy using. It's really good to get font for your images. So if I just use this photo here, then all I've got to do is type like, I don't know, let's just type flowers. Why not? And once I've done that, then you can just, you can't really see it, let me just put it up here. You can have like tons and tons of different fonts and stuff, which I think, I oh, like that one, let's use this one. And then you can also choose like different ways of typing it, so if we just use this one. And I just really love using this app, it just is so many different, even that one's nice, I like that one. So many nice ways to do fonts. I also have the app Airbrush, which I don't really always use, but like I just kind of like playing around with it sometimes on photos. Um, it's always like a good app to have, especially when it's free. Although one of my favorite things is like when you can resize. And watch this, it just goes, woo, hello, yes, yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun. My arm is aching right now. I've also got Whitegram, which like I've had for so long and I don't really know why I still have it because like I used to use it all the time when I used to want white border on my themes on Instagram but I don't 
really need that anymore so I guess I just kind of keep it there just in case there's obviously a reason why I downloaded it and kept it then in my music folder I've got Playtube which I use for my songs although I actually have Apple Music now so this is just good like if anything goes wrong with your Apple Music then this is a good app to have just in case also use voice memos which I use all the time since my last video I have so many more voice memos on there like let's just have a look shall we look at all these voice memos though I use it so much but it's yeah it's always handy to have then I've also got the Sonus app which I've had for such a long time and just kind of helps me take control on the music that gets played in the house sneaky I then have a games folder and I have so many more games since last time I have Air Penguin, haven't played that in ages but it's a fave, I've got to keep it. I've also got Arrow, long love for that game, it's just so so good. Agario, um, Dub Smash, I don't know why that's in games but it's fun, I haven't been in it in a while but I really like it. Also got Pop the Lock, haven't been on that one in ages but my score is so high I just can't delete it. That goes with Blendoku 2, either I use all the time, like all the time. So much fun to do when you have like nothing to do with your friends. Also got Shooty Skies. I used to love this game so much but I just haven't gotten into it recently. Stack, you probably heard of that one. Everywhere. Dots, Wicked Game. Crossy Road but the Disney version, that is really really good too. Uh, DTM, Down the Mountain. I absolutely love this game. It's probably my favourite at the moment. It's just so much fun, so simple but just great to you know okay there you go I just died yeah it's just so much fun I really enjoy it and then Mr. Crab 2 which they've just brought out I've already completed the free version but the new version or like the paid version is like $4.99 or something like that and it's like I'm not gonna pay that much for a game although it's like one of my all-time faves Mr. Crab 1 was amazing but I'm not gonna pay that much money so I'll just stick with the free one thank you then utilities is pretty much the same, my Vodafone to keep up with my contract, BT Wi-Fi because that's what my house runs on so I can just log into it easier. I've also got to find my iPhone because if I ever lose my phone then I can track it which is always handy. Remote Pro which I explained in the last video which allows me to turn my phone into a remote control for my laptop which is actually awesome especially when you're watching a movie. I've also got sleep talk to hear myself talk in the middle of the night, so that's pretty cool. Haven't used it in ages though. FaceTime, still since the last video, mainly just use it with my sister. Translate, I like using that because, you know, you can translate things, why not? Uni days, I'm a student, you get discounts. First bus, bus times obviously. Costa, oh my god, I use this app religiously because I'm, it just crashed on me, what is this? Oh, it's probably telling me to update it. Anyway, yeah, I use that all the time because I'm a huge Costa fan. Sub count, this helps me keep up to date with how many subscribers I have. And I currently have 1,117, so thank you guys. Super drug, pretty much similar to the Costa app, just kind of tells you how many points you have. Although, what, what I don't understand is, I used to have 300 and something points, now I've gone down to 167. Now that is a little bit fishy if you ask me. Boohoo is like, you know, why go on their online store when you have the app? Even though I use the online store a lot more than the app, but you know. Airbnb, which I used the first time for my trip away in Brighton. This app, if you're ever thinking about going away, it is so, so cool. You can get so many nice like places to stay on this app and I absolutely love it. Like they just have like places for everywhere. It's actually amazing and I definitely recommend it if you're looking to going away on holiday. I've also got the Canon print because that just means I can print from my phone. The scanner, which is a really cool app to like scan documents into your phone and then you can print them again, that is wicked. And then HSBC because that's my bank and I can just look at my balances without actually having to go to the bank in town. Now we're on to health, pretty basic folder if you ask me. Um, I have sleep cycle which I used to have and I used to use it all the time. I haven't used it in a while but I just still love the app. And then sugar smart is kind of like you scan like, the barcode and it tells you how much sugar is in this product. Which I find quite cool but they don't have that many products stored in their like catalogue yet so it's quite limited. Now I'm onto the extras folder, these are all like the apps 
that are just kind of there that I don't really use but I can't delete them. So I've got compass, tips, contacts, podcasts, stocks, which I really wish you could delete because it makes no sense. Um, Apple Watch, Find My Friends, and I do actually use an app, I really like using an app, although I literally just have like my brother on it, but you know, it's fun to see where people go. And um, the last one is Giphy for like gifts and stuff, which I can delete, but I like using that every now and then. And then I'm lastly on to TV, which is kind of like a new folder that I created recently just because I had two apps that kind of fitted into that category and I was like, yeah, let's just make a new folder. Um, so I've got ITV Hub because I like catching up on programs on my phone and Love Island because I've been obsessed with that show recently and you know you can get extra kind of little gossips on that app so why not download it and that's what I've done. So thank you very much for watching my updated what's on my iPhone 6 video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did then please give it a good old thumbs up and I will see you soon for another video. Bye!